this is the uh, uh... the completely self-sufficient structure will be fitted with solar panels and heat absorbing windows to generate its own electricity solar powered geysers for water heating and ventilation louvers for natural temperature regulation it will also take care of its own water requirements all the water uh, from the site and from the building uh, runoff water is captured um, into an underground uh, reservoir and then used in the uh, in the building equally the waste water from the building in other words from the toilets in the building is captured in a biogas uh, set up um, again on the ground floor and uh, the energy that is set up uh, biogas uh, that setup can be used for cooking and if need be for lighting in the building. Excess power generated will be fed onto the national grid. The $300,000 building is expected to influence construction projects. Parts of Harare Central Business District, like other cities across the country, are in desperate need of a facelift. Government hopes that as developers make those upgrades, they follow its lead. Despite the steep setup costs, authorities believe going green is a no-brainer. Just the idea of solar water heating uh, will knock out of your bill something like 40% of your, your bill. Instead of incurring that expense on a monthly basis, uh, you would basically uh, be having your bill, your electricity bill. Uh, anybody who's done the sums, <laughs> it's an attractive uh, proposition. For a country facing an energy deficit and short of foreign currency to import power, conservation is a priority. That's why government is encouraging local production of solar equipment to make it more affordable and intends to ban electric water heaters. Those that already have um, electric geysers, five-year period in which to adjust. But those that are building new buildings, new houses, uh, we shall insist that instead of fitting in an electric geyser, which takes so much electricity, that they fit in a solar water geyser. Once its green building is finished, government will move from do as we say to do as we've done. Farang Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.